Let's go. Here I come. I already know this is going to be so lit. Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about Vault Hunters, Bandits, Things of Prime Obi-Wan. And nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malawan Corporation. Handsome Jack. Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese. Oh, that's not Tom Handsome Jack. Fork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. That's the last main character. And oh. Into this pressure cooker steps Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor. Socially awkward, uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas. Been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. He's a tier one King Duke in the Prime Corby. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar. Yeah, this guy's in the intro. The most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And <laughs> Fran Miskowitz. Purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Frogger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Nothing. Yeah, oh. Yet. Who would have guessed? Things are used Manny and Scuff. You're free now. Go. Go. Be free. Run. Oh fuck, my controller's plugged in. Morning. What? Oh, I mean, good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? Right you are. Too much work. Not enough play. It sounds like Rugrats background music. They're going hard on that xylophone. By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but uh, crucially, Please do some stretch. the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear. And I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. I remember oh. her. <laughs> nice. Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change a prime the bishop. For the better. Imagine. A way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. Boring. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I phased away. And also where they go. And also what happens to them. Simple. There's a bit Jake. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You, you bet your sweet bippy it is, little missy. Bad voice, so you know, two weeks. Wow. Yes. Yes. It will be ready. I mean, it really sort of has to be. <laughs> like, it has to be. It's so important. And also, almost time for our quarterly reviews. All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. 
Figure it out with like your intuition or with your tech Thanks, goggles. Thanks, Larissa. Jules I would like to think both. and Hosey. Maybe start with the tech goggles though. There's a button on the side. Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. Oh, gameplay. Oh no. Just hold one button. So for Nailed starters, it. I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles. He's a prime for that. cheesy. Now where did I put that iridium ore? All right, I'm in the helm. The Jabber Translator. I don't know why I ever thought a Jabberman Translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. Who doesn't, what am I right? A waste of time. Now if it were me, I'd have it on my desk. Line of sight at all times. But that's just me. And would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Okay. Doesn't it say it right there? Pass one, two, three, four. Okay. I'm in. Thanks, Resub Nate. Better grab some money for lunch while I've got this bad boy unlocked. Did you say lunch? You buying? Looking pretty good so far. I just want. Ow, fuck, ow, ow, that really hurt. Ow, ow, I hit my knee. I just want to play as Octavius or whatever his name was. Where's that iridium? There's a giant one up there. Is it in here? Or? Hey, where the fuck is this iridium? Messy and disorganized are signs of a genius. I think. This is the jabber thing. Now that I look at the Jabberman translator with fresh eyes, I realize I may have made a miscalculation in the translation matrix. For all I know, they could have been spouting philosophy. Okay. I did not play the first Tales from the Borderlands. Warning, scanning human beings is not cool. Were you seriously about to scan me without my consent? Not cool. I'm true. You really need to work on your people skills, boss. If you want to know what's in my pocket, ask. Fong, can you tell me what's in your pocket? It's a Vaultlander figure. Some of the other lab assistants and I like to play before work. I totally creamed Roberts this morning, and this was my sweet reward. That's so cute. Ah, so it was over here the whole time. I just couldn't open it yet. My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? Thanks, Risa, <laughs> Left the rare and incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. In tier one Arctic. A slap button, huh? 
Oh. <laughs> I love that hum. It's like it's singing. Is your sub chaotic like and blazer? Song. Ooh, let's hit her with some quirky shit. It's the sound of a successful invention. One that finally gets us out of trouble with Reese Strongfork. One that changes the world. Just picture it, Fong. We are on the cusp of a world with less bloodshed. I don't really see how, though. Even if you can with phase shit in and out, how is that going to stop killing? Help people and protect life, not Wouldn't people even fight, like, more often <laughs> for that tech? Like, like, don't you know? I know, like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. AKA, Atlas's motto. No cruelty, no killing, no compromise. You're a revolutionary boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? <laughs> yeah, a claptrap thing. Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow. You make it sound like God, a Jesus war Christ. Years. We do manufacture weapons. Uh. For now, Fong. For now. Right. Anyway. Are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strongfork to inquire why are come these test subjects are somehow... Uh-oh. Liberated. I'm sorry. Test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. Let me play as Octavius. Currently running amok down the laboratory hallway. I want to go into the zoomer mode. For what I like to call go jabber grabber time. Why would I know that? What even makes you think I have anything to do with it? I'm not the only one that works in this lab. What? What? Slag off. That soup's uncool. Agreed. Oh, that shit is you? not lit. But low blow, but I chose it. The thing is, every use of Get torched, to a idiot. Feature is locked. We have a record of your ID being used to open the cages. Someone else could have grabbed it. The other thing is, our security surveillance system filmed you doing it. If Deep it fake. Isolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the jabbers those other times. Oh, thanks Don't to Tim Gift Subs, Presto. To Good free. to see you. Thank you, Presto. Oh. I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas policies. Hope you had a good day. Well, now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. <laughs> oh, and, uh, what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh, Neither said Papa Nicholas. Not that you deserve my help after throwing me under the bus, but you probably shouldn't go in empty-handed, you know? Right. Sorry, and... Right. Yes! Now the real game begins. Hey, what's going on? Octavius on the block, baby. Got an A-plus in super swag style class, baby. God damn right. Hey, Cringe Lord, what's going on up there, bud? Oh, a little early, hold on. What's up, Octavio? Hornetster! School's out already? Yeah! Hey, Papa Girardi! I can smell your space calzones from here! Ah, thanks! Uh, I, I need a new name for them! Iconic. I also need to stop doing that problematic accent! Yeah, I, I know. 
Bye, Octavio. Miss Johnson, did you get a cybernetic leg? That thing's straight fire. Hey, homeless yeah, man, you read my twit longer? Possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. All right, that's where all my knowledge goes from this. Now we're in new territory. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's ready done. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition job. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Yeah! Sure. Why not? Paco's tacos haven't heard anyone. Yet. I'll see you there. I hate this trend of writing. I don't think it's a trend. It's just Borderlands. jeez. Oh, I can't think of anything else that's this fucking I awful. I your arrival and have them waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. Louis. What is wrong with you? Hiding dark alleys like that? Oh, Saints Row. Good point. <laughs> oh, fuck. I totally forgot. <laughs> True. Saints Row. I acquired the publication you requested. You appear stunned. Uh, you shit. My ability to no, it's alright. I, was, I wasn't I was looking. I was clicking in RuneScape. Yeah, sorry. This issue always makes me a little nervous. Come on. Come on, come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. But not yet. Wait till they see your new TikTok dance. Extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list. I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept this city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. You're right. Who cares about some dumb list of super successful entrepreneurs? If you'd like to gain more work experience, I know people who could hire you as a meat target for new assassins. This game is awful is the marketing. Uh, There's okay. marketing for this? The pay is terrible, but the medical benefits are The only reason I heard terrible. about it is from the uh, Forzen clip of how awful this shit looked. Perhaps you were disappointed, but look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Bivington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. <laughs> oh, that was... You, however, uh, I see. You're anonymous. I, I thought it was a legitimate question. A nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty anyway. I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. Hey, that list? Forget it. I didn't even want to read it. I just wanted to see if you would read it. That logic does not make sense. That's because I'm a future business genius. I'm playing four-dimensional chess. I'm a Fuck me, oh my god. Computer. I'm literally playing 300 games of four-dimensional chess right now. And I just won. Y yeah, well, I'm more dangerous. I've killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Ah, another checkmate. And another. And... I get it, man. Despite your erratic behavior today, I have a need of your assistance. All right, I'm ready for the adventure. Working, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan uh, took nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. 
totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got Octavio. Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two Ion Slugs into their brain. Let's go! You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Meet some new people, develop some street cred. This could be good for business! That's the spirit. And let's not so far, this is not fun bad. This is just kind of painful. It takes to get my business off the ground. Okay, that you intro really led me to believe this would be fun bad. I'm not gonna lie. Tons. I may have made a mistake. A few. I'm working on it. <sighs> Alright, there's still a chance. Everyone knows shit pops off at Franz. Often said to be one of the best characters in Borderlands. Son of a skag kiss Good start. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right. All right. Let's make it to 91. Oh, Jesus. Get to work. IGN and GameSpot, GameSpot gave this a 7. This is a writing style that appeals to some people. I don't know who, but it's not me. So I I, I assume there's a lot of people that probably like it somewhere. Thanks for your sub, Jakey. An explicit. Thank you, sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Thanks, Reese Oliver. Oh no. Warning, do not now our outfit's now. ruined. As soon as the insurance fella approves my claim to fix this place up, I'll have TDR paid back quicker than a ch -ch -ch reload. Some guns reload very slowly. Thanks for reaching out, sponsor bot. You're my rock. It's a bad metaphor. If you're going to do metaphors, be better at them. Oh, connection's gone squirrely. Can't hear you. Talk later. Let's go, Fran. It's gonna be just fine. My new slaughter matic combat vegetable knife slices artichokes as easily as arteries. <sighs> How long has this been so far? Feels like it's been forty minutes. How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys <laughs> coming by today, they've been jerking me around, yeah. saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger. So long as I've got some caffeine in me. Yeah, go for it. There are precious few problems a couple of well-placed bullets can't solve. Oh, God. They teach you that in the military? If by teach, you mean repeatedly scream at me. And if by military, you mean mom, then yes. Right. Oh, Fran, that's so well, sad. Just tell me who to shoot and where to shoot them, and I'll have it done by end of business today. Thanks for this, by the by. 
Same zoos. Uh oh. Uh oh. Customers. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outy. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Good morning. Welcome to Franz Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. I really don't want to. You'll get whatever this gives you. Nope. I'm going on strike. Bon appetit! It'll be fine. How do you even fuck that part up? What? I didn't do anything wrong. Honestly, I think things went pretty well. Peanutty buddy! I don't even think this is edible. No tell until you try it. That'd be six seventy five, please. Stop whining. You forgot your spoon. This is pretty fucking epic. All right. I'll, okay. Uh, I'll I'll eat crow on this one. I was wrong. This was not fun. Bad. This is just pretty painful. That that intro led me to believe that it would be fun. Bad. I'm so I am so sorry. I just feel awful now. That's on me. That's on me. That was a bad read. You know, sometimes you make a bad read. Yikes.